Okay, my tent's leaking because it's raining and I, it's drizzling ish. It's not raining that hard, but it's been raining for a long time. Like the entire night was ra it was raining, and I was like, oh fuck. I forgot to put the tarp on it, and I didn't think it would be a problem, but I guess I never forget to put the tarp on the tent. Um, I found out who stole my passport. It was this bitch named Erica. I don't know what the fuck her problem is. I don't fucking know her very well. I used to hang out with her, and like she actually went to all the shelters ahead beforehand. This is the foster family's friend, by the way. This is also what Hewani, like um, my like childhood friend, was warning me about, where she was like, "Be careful of those people." That's why I didn't plan on being friends with Erica for a long time. Plus, I knew that she didn't have any friends, even though she was six years older than me, and she had a university degree. And I'm like, that's just kind of weird. And she thought that I would come after her. I think she might be a lesbian. I'm not really sure. She thought I would come after her. And tell her, and apparently her mom put her up to it. And, like, get her to, like, give me back the passport or pay for a new one or something, and, like... All that kind of stuff, and I'm like, yeah, that's called a crime. So they are, they arrested her, or they are going to arrest her. Obviously, the police, they're stupid. They Honestly, I didn't know this, but it's actually their lieutenant and their detectives that are responsible for figuring that kind of stuff out. They're only responsible for responding to emergency calls, that's it. I thought that every officer was um, responsible for that. They said, well, this is what the dispatcher told me, which is they're actually only responsible for showing up to the scene when there's a distress call, like 911 call, and writing down reports from what the person said, word for word. That's it. That's all they're actually obligated to do. They sometimes can intervene if there's a serious incident or like if there's someone's actively assaulting somebody. That's it. But other than that, they're not actually obligated or responsible for anything else. Um, I didn't know why so many of them were doing that, but apparently, the they told me that they actually didn't have anything to do with that. They didn't tell them to do it. It wasn't a part of the response or whatever. But actually, the cops were actively involved in like the majority of the crimes that were happening here, which is kind of fucked up. I guess they didn't want the de department to downsize or something. I have no idea. But yeah, she thought that I would like, I don't know, she, she actually actively thought that like I would just like, like, I would know that she took it and her family has something to do with it and I'm like, why would you steal somebody's password that's illegal? And then I found out they're actually not citizens. Erica has a PR card and she went back to Korea because she got her citizenship revoked. And I'm like, why do they keep doing that? And apparently I'm one of the very few people who are here. Um, the other women who actually are also here, um, they get their citizenship through work visas. So that's how a lot of people were managing to stay here for 10 years through their work visa. Um, I actually got my citizenship, which is why this is what the... Um, another store employee told me was like... Um, he said that a lot of people are more looking to hire work visa people because if you're a citizen, they're actually assuming that you already have all that kind of stuff figured out, which is why you're a citizen by now. And it's weird for a citizen to look for a job because it's like, how did you become a citizen? And I'm just like, that's why it's weird for me. Like, and he's, he's like, the only reason that would be the case for your situation is if you're coming from a very poor family and they already met poor families before and they were assuming those things about you. And I'm like, I'm not actually related to them. The poor family that you're talking about, they're exactly like the people that they think it is. So they're like that. I'm not actually like that. But I'm not related to them. But yeah, that's what they were assuming. And I was like... That's kind of bad, and like they didn't think you'd get to this point. But I'm like, this is what this is why discrimination is illegal. 
and they told me that it's a headache to work with Susan and Tiffany, and they told me what it's like to work with them, and I'm like, it's not like that with me, and they thought that something was fishy, they thought that they had, I had problems or something, but I was just really good at work, which is what a lot of women who are from the Philippines are like here, and um, I'm like, I'm not actually like that either. And they're like, you're literally, a le honestly, you fit to the T like what the wealthy people here are like or in the USA, you know, like the Republican, white Republican Americans, like that kind of stuff, like the stereotype, like country club, um, blonde, rich girl um, from the valleys and stuff, like that's what you're like, like that's how they present girls like you on TV. And I'm like, yeah, I get that, but like. I don't think it's like that here in Canada, like, those girls are treated very well. Most of them, they said, it turns out, most of them are abused. And not because, like, um, it's because they're usually adopted or fostered here. And I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah, a lot of girls who are very attractive and very intelligent like you, and who have priorities, the priorities right, they have standards, they get adopted or fostered by very, like, people who are willing to foster this kind of stuff, like, it gets to, like, uh, wealthier families. But I guess in Korea, they gave it out to the family that looked the normalist. But I'm, like, yeah, so I was like, I wasn't really planning on being friends with Erica for a long time, and I was like, what the fuck is she doing? And I think she was trying to say that, like, I just left my passport lying around, but I'm like, I didn't. I think their problem was they forgot that there's a lot of immigrants here and they came here specifically to avoid those kind of problems. Because their country actually had people like that too. And they came here, this is what the other people were telling me, they like to live here because they have more products here available because it's right beside USA. And USA makes and ships out a lot of products and they said if they purchase these kind of products that I have right now in their country, it would be twice the price just for tariffs and to ship for shipping. And one, not a lot of stores would carry it, and if they ordered it online, it would also cost them a lot of money for shipping. And they said a lot of people come here, buy all the products, and bring it back home. Like, just once in a while when they come here to visit family or something. Ugh. I don't want my computer to get lit, but...